Hi Taurus, it's Jim with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Taurus strongly in their natal chart. That said, it won't fit for everyone. And um, we're all different ages. We're all moving through different types of experiences. And from my perspective, it, it would be um, quite unreasonable that all of the Taurus people would fit within one general reading. That said, I hope that there's something here for you. And um, although we do not know what the future has in store for us, hopefully there is some guidance here that can help you as, as you move forward. All right, let's go ahead and look at what the current energy is for this for this group of Taurus people. What is the current energy? What is the current energy? Okay, Taurus, before I get started, just a reminder um, <clears throat> that there will be an extended reading after this reading in which we'll dig deeper into some of these energies, probably four energies that are here, and then we'll take this out into the future. Um, I usually will take it out about four waves of energy into the future. You could call it four months. You could call it four waves of energy. I think waves of, uh, waves of energy is more appropriate because we're all moving through different types of experiences and we all move in different speeds. I mean, honestly, we do. And I'm going to say it again. Um, if you have a Taurus sun and you have a Sagittarius moon, you will move at a different comfort at, you will move at a different speed. You will find a more comfortable, you will find comfort in a different kind of speed than a Taurus with a Capricorn moon. So that's what I mean when I say we're all moving at different speeds. I move differently than another Aquarius that I know because I have a different natal chart. So um, we just have to be a little bit flexible when we talk about timing. So that's why I'm going to in the future not say months. I'm going to say waves of energy. And I'll try to explain it for a little while. But um, I, I just that that to me feels the best. And I think sometimes I say too many words, just like right now, I say too many words. So um, but I think it's it's necessary for me to explain where I'm coming from. I've had a little bit of an awakening with tarot. I will be a little bit different as we move forward. But I think it's going to enhance my work, not detract from it. So hopefully you'll give me some time to kind of find my find my um, feet here as I move forward. So let's see what's here for Taurus. The world hanged man in reverse three of cups with the queen of wands okay let me get these so this is the energy that this group of Taurus people is in right now so you know if you listen to this and you think you know that doesn't really sound like me feel free to continue listening but that's one reason why I do the current energies is to help you because sometimes um, I remember too when I um, was in transition periods in my life and I would listen to a lot of readers um, I would have some readers that I would really um, connect with and sometimes I could get drawn into a situation that really wasn't mine and I don't want that to happen and I think that I've really been struggling with that I've been struggling struggling with what to do with people who are confused about a reading and I never want that to happen and it hurts my heart when that happens so um, as you can tell I'm struggling with it and that's why I haven't been reading so I'm going to do my best to bring forward situations that give you the most clarity as you move forward it is a deep responsibility as a reader and I do not want to bring people into illusions or send people in the wrong direction. And it's, it's a heavy responsibility that I've just had to come to grips with. Okay, let me get into this energy because your energy is a beautiful energy that I see here, Taurus. I mean, we have the world. You're starting off with the world energy. Now, the world is an expansive type of energy. It's an energy that will bring um, new thoughts, new ideas into your spirit, right, with the world energy. Now, this is often considered an energy of stepping into something new. Um, I, I feel like it, it is stepping into something new, but sometimes it's stepping into something new and you're not, not quite sure what it is that's you're stepping into. Um, you could have had something just happen to you where um, there is something o something opening up to you. Something has opened up to you. A new situation has opened up to you or a new belief system has opened up to you. It's something that's been revealed to you or opened up to you. So if you're going to take it literally, um, it could be a new job position that has been revealed to you. You have connected in with it. It could be a new way of thinking. It could be some new 
something new that you've learned in the past week that really has enlightened you and it's opened up something to you that's brought in your perspective, right? Because we have the world right next to the hanged man in reverse. This tells me that you're seeing something in a little bit differently. Uh, you're seeing it a little bit differently. You're seeing it from a different viewpoint or something now that was once hidden from you has been revealed to you and it has something to do with your understanding about where you are in the world in which you live. So it brings clarity, it brings a new perspective, it brings an enhancement to your value system, it brings something new to your job, it's something that is enlightening and expansive in whatever area that this is pertaining to you. So it could have to do with your job, it could have something to do with your home life, it could have something to do with your relationship that you're in, or um, your endeavor to be in a relationship of some kind. It, it is something, though, that is bringing this energy of the world, which is some kind of opening up a revealing type of energy that is helping you to see um, something here, a pathway, a way of thought, a way of action taking that is helping you to see it in a different way. It's something that is bringing an enhancement. It's an enhancement to whatever this is for you. So you've had some sort of enhancement that's come into your reality and it is something different than you once knew. And it could have taken some time because a hanged man can take a little bit of time, right? Even when I talk about my own turmoil that I've had with working with tarot, um, I had, that it has taken me a long time to get to this place. It's built up within me. The worry has built up within me. And it took me then to the mountaintop where I had to really say, okay, now I can see it in a bigger view. I can see it in a bigger perspective. And now that I can see it, I can move forward and start to change what um, helps me to find peace and, and balance in my work. Same thing here with this energy. Same thing here. We have the Three of Cups energy, which is an energy of joy and celebration. It's an energy of victory. Something new is being birthed. I mean, the Three of Cups, you can't deny that is something here has been birthed. And what is come from it is joy and celebration. This can be happiness. This can be relief. This can be sitting back and say, okay, saying, okay, this now has been completed. This now has been brought to the forefront. And now I can sit back. I can look at this. I can... Um, I can be celebrate. I can celebrate it. I can, I can have joy within me with the people around me, my family or my friends or my coworkers. There's something here that's being birthed, something, a new idea, a new project, um, a new, even a new healthier relationship, um, a new relationship with your child that's, that's being enhanced by, because of some kind of new perspective that has come in. Something new has, it's a three energy and three energies are about growth for me. They're about something that is, that is tangible. It's small. It's tangible, but it has a, pers it has the possibility. It has a trajectory of growth into something very healthy and abundant. So it's a really good energy and it's something that is bringing happiness and celebration. Um, and it could even be a union of some kind, a union of people. We always say it's a reunion kind of energy. Well, when I get deeper into the energies in Taurus, I'm going to be more honest now with what I feel. I'm going to be more expansive. So um, I, I'm putting myself on the line and I'm saying I'm vulnerable right now because this is how I really have been feeling about tarot. The Three of Cups for me is about joy and happiness. It is about family. It is about reunion and union. But I think it has to do with something that's a three energy and a three energy of something that is just getting going. And we can even see it with this card with this baby chick that's hatched. So there's something here that is small. It's a small nugget, just like a baby chick. Have you ever have held a baby chicken in your hand with the peep, peep, peep it makes, right? I'm making the noises because I've done it. And I know there are people that have listened to me that, has, that have held a baby chicken in their hands or a baby, brand new baby bird in their hands. It's something that you can hold. It's light. It's very frail. It can die easily right? But it's something that you know will grow into something very beautiful that will be alive and well, right? That's the energy that I see here with, with the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands energy here. Now, this is an energy that is, I, I feel like this is your energy. This is an, an Aries Leo Sag type of energy. Um, it's an energy of really understanding what brings something about this has really 
it's it's almost like you now have new energy. You have new energy to do something that possibly you did not understand how you were going to do before. So whatever this was, it's giving you a new energy. It's it's livening up your spirit. It's bringing you back to life again. It's 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 helping you to stand up and to walk forward and to look out of your window in a new way. Look out on, on the earth below you or at the earth around you, at the world around you and think in a little bit different way. It is a feeling like I, I know within myself, I can do this. I know within myself, I have the strength. I have the tenacity. I have the will to do this. And it is a recognition of that, not a questioning of it. It's not saying, do I have strength to do this? Is this really what I need to be doing? Is this really what my calling is? It's a standing up and it's saying, I have the willpower. I have the strength. I have the capacity. I have the inner guidance that I can step forward in this new, with this new realization that's happening here. And I can be, I can step into this knowing that I have the capacities that can help me along my way, right? That, that can help me. It's almost like, it's almost like you have a, your guide within you, that inner voice or that spirit within you, or that connection with the divine within you, where you can say, I'm going to step forward because I have whatever I hold to be my guidance system that is walking next to me, walking arm in arm with me. And now I can step forward in a new way. And I know that I have the ability to do that. So that's the energy that I see here with the Taurus, with this group of Taurus people. So let's go and see what the next wave of energy will bring for this group. I hope that makes sense, my beautiful friends. I didn't say, welcome to, welcome to the table. I love to say that, and I didn't say that. I'm a little bit ungrounded, but welcome to the table, my beautiful friends. For me, it's a joy to be working again. So I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that I'm here. Okay, so we have the King of Cups here. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Hierophant. Four of Swords. Hermit, big energies, a lot of big energies here. All right, let me, let me start. Let me get into these energies. Well, I do feel like this Queen of Swords might be a different person. It might be a different person here with a Queen of Swords. And then we have the Hermit, which is over the top of the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So this is the Hermit energy. This is your energy here. Okay, give me a second to get my bearings. So we have the Four of Swords energy over the top of the King of Cups, and we have it over the top of the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit in the middle. And for me, the Hermit, for me, the energy in the middle of the bottom row is significant because it kind of shadows over the rest of the energies here. So this is an energy of you kind of coming out um, of some kind of deep period of thought and um, making some sort of change in the way you walk. The Hermit is somebody who goes deep into a situation, thinks about it for a long period of time, um, doesn't have to be a long period of time, but it does have to be a deep thinking. And it's a, it's a clinical type of thinking with a Virgo energy. It's a very logical, rational kind of thinking. So there's not a whole lot of emotion. I'm not saying that there's not a whole lot of emotion, but, but I think Taurus, you're able to really put the emotion aside and really say, okay, what would I say that we can put the ego aside 
<clears throat> the voices within us that want to be sharp and critical towards ourselves or to other people, we can put those voices aside and say, okay, um, without judgment here, what really happened? Because there's something that's happened in the past that you've really had to dig deep with and find an answer to. And the Herman is usually an energy who comes out of that cave then with new realizations, new, um, uh, uh, something different. There's something different with the, with the Herman energy. That's why he's a master liver. That's why he's a master teacher, because he's able to, um, he doesn't have to be a teacher, although he can be a formal kind of a teacher, but this is an energy that will teach others how to make adjustments, how to be flexible, how to make changes in one's own life, to bring in a new set of circumstances, a new set of um, improvements because in our life, when we are able to put the ego aside, that voice within us that's critical of ourselves and critical of others, the voice within us that sometimes we should listen to and we don't, we're able to really kind of find balance with that. We're able to see what we could, what we can do better next time. And we're able to see um, what others possibly, what roles they had within our own lives. And the hermit understands that we can only really change what's in our control. And so the hermit decides, okay, this is what I'm going to do next. This is what I'm going to do better. This is what I'm going to do as I walk forward, because the last experience had some weaknesses in it. It had some turmoil in it. And so the, the hermit is a beautiful teacher energy. It's one of my favorite energies in, in tarot. And look where you are. That's why um, this reading is, it feels so beautiful to me to be in this hermit energy. So there's something here that you're coming forward in a different way. After looking deep at a situation, you have a little bit of a different perspective. It doesn't mean that you were necessarily wrong. It just means that there's something about the last situation that you're changing this time. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that you found it anything that anyone did wrong. It just could have been a situation. It could have been a process that you were in. It could have been procedures that you were following that weren't necessarily appropriate. Maybe something needs to be changed within the guidelines, right? We don't always have to, it, it, sometimes our emotions can really get involved. And when we really look at it as a hermit will look at it, we could say, well, you know, it really wasn't my fault that this happened because this was what we had said we were going to do. But what we had said we were going to do maybe needs to be revised at this point because it, there might not be, there might need, there might be an additional guideline that needs to be added or there might need to be some revision in the procedure. So it doesn't have to be emotional. I think that's what's beautiful about the Virgo, this Virgo energy is because it kind of takes some emotion out and says, okay, I'm a person and, and this other person is a person and this is why this happened. And I think if I do this next time, that can help. And I think, um, if I do this, maybe this can have an effect somewhere else. And that's kind of how the, the Virgo energy feel, it does, because the, this hermit energy also knows that um, there's a queen of swords here. And I don't think this queen of swords is you. This queen of swords is a different person, most likely. And I think it's this queen of swords that this hermit is kind of brushing up against in, in the next few weeks. We have the King of Cups here. Now, this could be a person. It can be a woman or a man. Um, this is a masculine energy. If this is a person, this person is out making changes in the world around them. This could be a person who has a profession, is a professional in the, in the healing fields, or this is a person that could be in any industry. Um, but this is a person that, that is natural, that has a natural talent at bringing health and vitality into a home or into a workplace or into a community. Now, this could be a person. And if it's a person, um, it could be a person that's around you or it could be you. <sighs> It feels to me like there's some different energies here. And it feels to me like this could be a person. It could be two people that you're working with. You could be working with two people. You could be working with another person. You could have a family with multiple people in it that you're trying to figure out how you're going to resolve something. We do have the three of pentacles here, another three. And we had the three of, um, what was it? Uh, uh, three of cups in the current energy that you're in right now. Um, so again, we have this three energy that's there's something here that is blossoming or it's coming forward as something that is going to make an impact in the world around you. It could be a new job. It could be a new project that you're working on. It could be a new um, a new project that you're working on at home with the three of pentacles. It's usually something that you can touch, feel, taste, see here. It's usually something that impacts the senses of the body, something in real life. So um it could be that there's a person here that is, or two people here even, that are 
somehow related to the Three of Pentacles, this new project or this new tangible new thing that you're working on with the Three of Pentacles, something new here with the Three of Pentacles that has showed up that's in your reality. Right with the three of cups, it's a feeling. It's a feeling of joy and celebration because there is something here that's blossoming. Right with the three of pentacles, it's a it's something that you're working on. So it's not just a feeling. It's not just emotions. It's something that you're actually taking action in and working on. Right because we can see this painter here. He's painting a a mural on the side of a building, and because this building is very grand to me, I I feel like this building maybe has ten or twelve windows. And you've probably heard me talk about the three of pentacles in this deck. So with the three, we know that he's probably working on the first mural. He probably knows he has nine or ten or eleven more of these to do, and now he knows a lot of more information about how to paint on the side of this building and what style he's going to use, what paint brushes work the best, what painting style fits, what are the paints, paintings, what are the images that he's going to use. You know, whatever he's doing, he has finished the first one now and he knows a lot more about how to carry forward. That said, he has a lot more to do, right? Because it's still a three. So that's what I mean when I say it's something that's just starting. It's something that's just here. It has a lot more time, but it has a real propensity or real strong possibilities for something that could be very abundant and very beautiful in, in the life that's around you. Now we have the four of swords over the top of the king of cups and the three of pentacles. So there's something here that is allowing you to relax now. So there, along with this hermit, the hermit sometimes can bring relief because sometimes the anxiety comes when we don't know what to do, when we don't know what to do, when there are elements in our life that are out of control and we don't have clarity that can really bring us to a point of anxiety and stress. It can add to turmoil, right? And so I think this hermit is again, such a beautiful energy because I think this hermit is able to kind of come out because you have taken some time now to really look deep um, and to, because there ha the four of swords is really an energy of reflection. It's an energy of healing. It's an energy of taking time um, to to rest and to connect in with the divine energies, connect in with what brings you guidance, whatever that is for you, whatever you connect into that brings you guidance and brings you peace. This four of swords allows you to do that. So it could be that you have taken some time now to heal um, this environment. So the, the king of cups for many of us is the environment in which we live with the king of cups. It can be an energy of a person or it can be an energy of an environment. And so this could be some kind of environment now that's beginning to heal because of this energy of the hermit that we see here. Nevertheless, this king of cups could be a person and there could be um, some sort of a team, um, a team that is taking some time um, to reflect on how best to continue working with this three of pentacles, right? So this could be a situation at work or at home, but I love that the four of swords is here and I love that the hermit is here. That tells me that this situation is going to stabilize and going to normalize with this type of deep reflective work. And this is the type of work that brings us into new, that brings us into new horizons, that brings us into new perspectives. This type of deep rest and deep reflection is truly, truly one of the major um, processes that we can go through to bring in beautiful changes in our worlds. And we also have justice here, which is balance right? It's victory, it's balance, it's bringing in um, equality, it's bringing in fairness into, into this world. Now, we have this Queen of Swords, and she keeps looking at me. Now, this Queen of Swords, I feel for many of you, is a, is a different person. It is someone that has really maybe pushed you. This this person could have pushed you. They could have said things that could have pushed you, that could have triggered you, that could have brought you information, but it, the information came in so harshly. This queen of swords oftentimes is someone who has gone through trauma and turmoil in his or her life. It doesn't have to be a woman. It can be a man. But the queen of swords is someone who expresses herself or himself in a very direct, inviting way and doesn't always have to be direct, inviting. It's usually direct and it's usually thorough. It's usually very easy to understand the words that the queen of swords says, right? But the energy when I get into the Queen of Swords is a, it's a kind of a cutting energy. And it doesn't have to mean that the Queen of Swords was wrong in what the Queen of Swords said, right? 
But there's something here, the fact that you have the Four of Swords and the Hermit energy over the top of the Queen of Swords with the Justice over the top tells me that however this information came to you, whether it was information that you needed to hear or whether it was information that was wrong, if, if, whether it, if, if it was information that caused um, you to have some deep wounding, whatever that information was, it came at you in a very cutting and biting and hurtful way. That's what I feel about this energy here with the Queen of Swords. Now, I think that you have come up with some sort of realization here, some sort of observation or an answer that's going to help to bring equality and balance to this situation. I feel that it's you that's coming up with this because you here are the hermit and you have the light and you're walking towards this equality. So I feel like this is an energy that's going to bring you into some type of resolution that's going to bring um, a, a feelings of stabilization, fairness, something that if there, there's two sides here, I feel like there could be two sides here that both sides are going to say, you know what? I think this will work. I think this will work. I, I think from what I feel like, whether this Queen of Swords was wrong or not, whether she was wrong or not, because I'm not really getting a sense of it with whether she was wrong in what she said. I think that the way this the, these words came were not healthy. The way they came to you were not healthy. The way they were spoken was not healthy. That is why tone and the way we speak to each other and the way we interact with each other is so important in the world around us. It's the tone in which we use. We can say we're not happy with some something. I was going to say someone. But it's usually that we're not happy with someone. We're just not happy with something that they did. We can say that we're not happy with something that someone did in a tone that brings them closer to us. And they can say, I didn't realize that. Or you can, or we can say it in a tone like this, which is cutting and biting. And then we have to go into a healing period. So the tone in which we speak to each other, the kindness and the compassion we show to each other is really part of our, our growth and expansion as we move forward in our journeys. So whatever is happening here, I see you coming out. I see that you've taken some time to rest, retreat um, from this environment that you were in. You're coming forward now. You're coming out of this cave that you're in and you're moving forward with some sort of new um, realization, new idea or new possibility that's going to bring equality to this for you. Now, it's over the top of the higher font energy. So um, this could have something to do with a contract that you're working with. It could have something to do with a religious group. It could have something to do with a community. It could have something to do with, um, again, guidelines and, and processes within a company. Um, there could be someone here who um, is, is really only really caring, caring about following the rules, only really caring about the procedures and not really understanding that maybe sometimes the higher font is wrong. Sometimes the higher font needs to expand itself. The higher font is an energy of control, guidelines, systems, communities all working together, moving in the same direction. It could be religion. It can be faith. It can, it can be, um, well, faith is more of the, the high priestess, which is the internal energy of the higher font. Uh, but whatever it is, it's structure. Um, it is religion. It is um, large companies that have a very large group mindset. So whatever this is, this justice is over the top of the higher font, which tells me that there is some sort of realization here within a contract. This could even be a marriage. This could even be some sort of a family business here with where there is some sort of a leader here who's in charge the, this person could have been the leader here, um, this Queen of Swords. See, there's some strong energy here with the Hierophant and the, the Hierophant and the Hermit. So you have to be really wise and really deep thinking to address balance with the Hierophant. That's what I'm getting. Hierophant you're going to have to really think this through and have some deep reflections because the Hierophant is an energy that's been around for a long time, right? The idea of marriage has been around for a long, for a long time, right? The, the company guidelines and the company rules have been in place for a long time. The community customs and the culture within your community has been around for a long time. That's why you have this hermit energy here, which is about wisdom, which is about guidance. The hermit doesn't butt up heads strongly 
the hermit finds a way to make changes and it's a very soft and logical rational way and i think it's going to really help this queen of swords relax just a bit right the the queen you know i i'm a queen of swords a lot because i'm an aquarius so i can do the queen of swords and you know the hermit energy is an energy that that can help me see things differently it really can if somebody comes towards me if i'm protecting a child right children are something that i'll protect so fiercely right and i can get the queen of swords around children and if somebody comes to me in the hermit energy while i'm in this very protective energy i think that for me i would prefer that coming towards me because then i can see the wisdom in it because these are two logical these are two very logical energies queen of swords is very logical right very logical um, very direct very emotionless and the hermit is also very logical um, very soft though. And so this wisdom, the softness of the hermit can help this queen of swords really kind of mellow out just a little bit. And with the logic of the hermit, that will um, be attractive to the logic of the queen of swords. And I think that's what's bringing in this new balance here that I see. So it is kind of, this is again, this is a general reading. So we have to be careful and I'm being very careful now um, to to not be arrogant when I do these readings because these energies are quite deep and they can be expansive. And all of you, um, as the channel grows, there's more and more of you and you're going through different kinds of situations. I'm just saying that I think the Queen of Swords is a different energy from you. I think she's connected with the Hierophant energy, um, could be a man or a woman. And I think that your energy is this energy at the bottom that's coming forward. And it's gonna bring more equality in here. All right, let's look and see what the guidance is. We'll be starting out with the four of pentacles this is a four energy and the four energies are all about um foundations right foundations creating a foundation with the four of wands the four of pentacles is holding on to a foundation right so so it's all about create um it's it's a stopping energy the four of swords is stopping and resting right the four of pentacles is an energy of having a foundation but maybe having it for too long um, having it for too long and really wanting to hold on to it and not really realizing that um, it's necessary now to step forward and branch out in a new way sometimes we want to hang on to the four of pentacles because we've been in a position before where we've really felt poverty or we've really been left out in the cold and once we feel the four of pentacles at first it feels really good it feels like a soft warm blanket because now we have stability now we have something that we can rely on with the four four pentacles we can rely on it we have stability we have uh, um, a little bit of peace of mind and as we move forward in time that four of pentacles that little bit of stability can really begin to hold us back because we can't we can't forget the time when we didn't have the four of pentacles we can't forget that time it was a devastating and debilitating period of time and so the four of pentacles for me anyway in my own life has been the hardest for me to let go of when we have that stability we know we need to do something different but we don't want to lose what we have because what we have we are grateful for what we have we're grateful for it. We appreciate what we have. And it's not that we don't want to have it anymore. It's just that it might not be all there is for us, any, all there is to life anymore. You know, because humans always change. We always expand. We're always growing. And the four of pentacles at some point in time can be a prison for us um, without us really realizing we can be living in a prison um, with, because we're scared to move forward. Although we really want to, we're scared to lose what we have. Um, and remember the four of pentacles, the next energy then is the five of pentacles, right? So this, is this, you, you know, you could be in somewhat of an uncomfortable energy here, uh, but this could be the a person that's around you. You know, this could even be that queen of swords that's around you too. So uh, there is an energy that's around you, whether it's an energy that you're holding, or it's an energy that is around you with the people around you, or even the community around you are trying to hold on to something that should be changed, that should be revised, that could be enhanced now in a new way. Sometimes communities are like that, or even church groups are like that, work group 
sort of like that, even like if we're looking at a workplace and we're looking at technology, that four of pentacles can, energy can kind of come with technology. No, we don't want another software update because the last time we did a software update, it was painful for like three or four months and some of our clients weren't happy. You know, <laughs> we've all been there, haven't we? Doing that. That's the four of pentacles energy. And so it's an energy of, well, we really know that we need to get a new software program. We really know that we need to get some new technology, but we're, we're okay. We're doing fine. Everything's working well. We have a system down, but we know if we do it, it can really maybe broaden our horizons. It can bring in more revenue. It's that kind of an energy. I hope I got that right for you. Now the Empress energy is the energy of the mother, the great mother. And what is the mother like? Right. A mother is someone who nourishes, someone who brings, gives birth to new children, gives birth to new ideas, very creative energy. Um, so I think this is the energy that you're in. This is an energy of a man or a woman. Right. But it's a very mothering type energy. It's a very maternal type energy. It's soft and it's fluid. Remember, the emperor is very structured energy, very full of structure. Um, so. There is guidance here to allow yourself to be fluid in your energy, to, to allow yourself to think differently. I see this Empress. This is the most, most beautiful energy I feel for the feminine side of the tarot. And to have it here is a compliment to you to that you can be in this energy now, because I know that you've had struggles in the past, Taurus. You've had struggles in the past. And this is gui guidance now to be fluid in that energy um, to, to allow yourself to be nourished, to allow yourself to, um, take on the role of the great mother, right? With the empress to the empress is an energy of being very balanced in all four of the queens, having practicality, having pragma pragmatism, being able to do the work that needs to be done and doing it with a sense of, um, happiness or a sense of, um, digging in that kind of a digging in kind of energy like a mother would do okay let's clean up these toys now kids let's clean up these toys now right that kind of an energy then we have the energy of the queen of swords with the energy of expression the energy of protection the energy of um, saying things that need to be said that are difficult that we often try not to say or we try to avoid the queen of swords is an energy that's able to do that and so the fact that the queen of swords energy is mixed in with the empress energy is a really good thing because it allows you to express yourself but it allows you to do it with softness and with balance and with understanding where the queen of swords sometimes is a very blunt hurtful kind of energy the empress energy is a very it's an energy of expression but it's very it's much more soft it's much more full of resolution and full of ideas and compassion. And it can really get, um, oftentimes it can get you much farther down the road than the queen of swords, because it's a, it's an energy of negotiation. It's an energy of compromise. It's an energy of understanding. Then you have the energy of, um, the pentacles and I already did the pentacles energy, the wand energy, which is passion, excitement, enthusiasm, chemistry. So, the Empress energy is an, is an energy where the, the, the flame within you is lit, where you are excited about life and you have a, an ability to step through fear, right? Because mothers, when you think of mothers with children, the mothers in our, in the worlds around us can step through fear when it comes to our children, can't we? We can do pretty much anything when it comes to our children. We can step through fear. That's one thing that's beautiful about the Empress, the great mother, is she can step into fear. So, um, the cups energy as well with, with love and nourishing and, and, um, understanding that, that people grow and they expand and they, um, they find new horizons when they're nourished, when they're understood, when they're listened to, right? This is a beautiful energy. And I feel like this is your energy. And I think this is a real compliment to you. It's hard to get into this energy. It takes time. It takes experience. It takes ex years of experience to get into this energy. But I have seen this energy in young people. I've seen it in old people. I have seen it in myself. I have seen it in all of you because I have been in your energy. I see it in you now. So it doesn't have to do with age. It has to do with blending of energy and the way we can walk forward in, in a balanced way. Then we have the six of cups here. This is the energy of healing. It's the energy of soul health the health and vitality of the soul, of the being, of who you are.
This is about reconnecting with what brings you fulfillment and peace and healing in your life. So there's something here that is very much a, that really runs deep with you, Taurus. It really runs deep. We could be talking about a work situation here, but this is something that runs deep within you and it will bring healing. So there is a energy here of healing. There is energy of here, here of looking deep within you to see what is causing the turmoil and looking deep within you to make sure that you're addressing that. Make sure that you're working on healing. Make sure that you're understanding this has to do with past hurts and wounds. This has to do with how you were raised, perhaps. This has to do with family and your memories of the past. Um, it is going to bring healing into your life. So it's this guidance is beautiful. And even though the Four of Pentacles is here, I think the Four of Pentacles is in our lives a lot doesn't even have to be just in one reading that once a year. I mean, we can have the Four of Pentacles in our lives on, on a daily basis. The fact that it is here doesn't really signify anything that is um, anything negative. It's just showing that um, there there is something here that is um, needing to expand, needing to open up, needing to allow new experiences in or to relax control on guidelines, perhaps even or relaxing control on guidelines. Remember, we have the Queen of Swords over top of the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is all about rules and guidelines. We have the Four of Pentacles here. So there might be a situation that just needs to relax a little bit to be more flexible um, somewhat. Okay, so now I'm going to move to the extended. I'm going to dig deeper into some of these energies. And when I dig deeper, we can get a little bit more information about what exactly they, they are. Um, again, it's still a general reading, but um, I think it can be quite helpful. So the energies that I'm going to dig deeper into is definitely the world energy. I want to dig into the world energy. I'm interested in this higher font with the Queen of Swords energy. And I'm interested in this justice energy here. All right, so let's look at these four energies and then I'll take this situation out. Um, four waves, you can call it four months, but I'm going to call it four waves of energy into the future. Just like when you stand on the beach and the, the waves come in, that's kind of how life happens to us. Life can be very fast for a period of time. We go through one phase and then we enter into another phase and whatever, however you want to think about it. So I'll go out four periods of time um, with, with this situation for Taurus. All right, my beautiful friends, thank you. This went on this, this went on a while, but hopefully it's helped you in some way. And I wish you all the best, my beautiful friends. Thank you very much.